I'm going to talk about restrictive abortion laws in Mexico and its correlation with maternal mortality. <coughs> Even when we are an upper middle income country, uh, we have wide socioeconomic disparities. Uh, mostly 45% of the population live under the line of poverty. And among indigenous population, two out of eight out of ten people live under the line of poverty. In Mexico, abortion is regulated at the state level. Each Mexican state has the faculty to establish when abortion is a crime or not, what procedures a woman should follow to request a legal termination of pregnancy, and how the services should be provided by health institutions. The federal district for Mexico City is the only state where abortion has been decriminalized on any grounds during the first trimester of pregnancy since 2007. Throughout the rest of the 31 Mexican states, induced abortion is highly restricted with some variation in state-specific exceptions. Abortion is legal throughout the country in cases where pregnancy results from rape. In 25 states, they permit abortion when woman's life is in danger. 13 states allow it in cases of rape, fetal anomalies, and 12 states permit abortion when pregnancy poses a great threat to women's health. However, women's effective access, access to legal abortion in all the mentioned cases is precarious or new. Whether because the prevailing stigma against abortion or because of the absence of sufficient state-level administrative mechanism that would enable women to qualify for a legal abortion to obtain one. For instance, Less than half of state attorney general's offices provide great victims with information about their right to receive emergency contraception. And the majority of state attorney general's offices do not emit authorizations for abortions <coughs> after the rape. This is particularly serious considering that its agencies include uh, special prosecutor's offices for violence against women and human rights. In the last five years, for example, only 39 authorizations were offered in the whole country. Because of stigma and criminalization abortion of abortion in Mexico, obtaining specific information about its frequency and the conditions under which it occurs is challenging. Most Mexican women who have clandestine abortion are reluctant to admit to having had one or tell anyone if they develop dangerous health consequences. Behind almost every induced abortion is an unintended pregnancy. As of 2009, more than half of all pregnancies in Mexico are estimated to have been unintended. Each year, 71 unintended pregnancies occur per 1,000 women of reproductive age, a rate that is virtually the same as the estimated for all Latin America and the Caribbean. Legally restricting abortion does not prevent it from happening. 54% of all unintended pregnancies in Mexico are estimated to end in an induced abortion, despite it being legally restricted in 31 of the 32 states in Mexico. By 1990, around half a million induced abortions were carried out in Mexico. By 2009, the number of abortions increased to more than 1 million. Thus, Mexico's rate of abortion has doubled in the last 20 years. This increase over time in the rate suggests that women are having a harder time avoiding unintended pregnancies and are also more motivated to avoid having unintended births, unplanned births. Adolescents aged 15 to 19 years old share the second highest rate of abortion estimates along with women aged 25 to 29 years old. Almost all terminations of in any, in any other state but Mexico City are practiced clandestinely and many are carried out in unhygienic settings and using unsafe methods. Restrictive legislation and lack of effective access to safe legal abortion when the criteria is met drive women to report to clandestine abortions that can endanger their life and health. In 2009, 159,000 women nationally 
were treated for complications of an induced abortion in public sector hospitals alone. And this does not take into account the ones taken care in private hospitals. 22% of women treated in a hospital for an abortion were younger than 20 years old. The greatest increase of hospitalizations for abortion was amongst girls aged 10 to 14 years old during the period of 2000 to 2012. The poorest, least educated, and or indigenous women are nine times more likely to undergo an unsafe abortion than women with better economic possibilities, more education, or do not belong to an indigenous group. And if we consider that 45% of the population in Mexico live under the line of poverty, this is pretty serious. 36% of all women having an induced abortion in Mexico are estimated to develop complications that need medical treatment. And that rate is greater for uh, women living in rural settings. In 2010, abortion was the cause of 11% of maternal deaths in Mexico. And in the last two decades, abortion has been consistently the fourth or fifth leading cause of maternal death. 14% of maternal deaths for abortion were among women younger than 20 years old. Thus, preventing unsafe abortion is a matter of public health and human rights. Moreover, induced abortion is punishable by law everywhere in Mexico, except Mexico City. And given the legal restrictions and scarce access to abortion, women are at risk of being charged and sentenced for committing <coughs> an abortion, even when they would qualify for a legal abortion under the authorized indication or suffer a miscarriage. But we do have a success story, which is Mexico City. Since April 2007, Mexico City decriminalized all first trimester abortions in the, in, in the city. Legal interruptions of pregnancies are available free of charge to residents and for a small fee to women from the other Mexican states. Since the criminalization in 2007, there has not been one single maternal death among women who use the federal district abortion services. To close, I would say that legally restriction abort, restricting abortion does not prevent it from happening. And almost all abortions in any other state of Mexico City are practiced clandestinely and mostly under unsafe and unhygienic conditions. Thank you.